I'm telling you what, everything on this, is just, it's just good, it's just a burst right. of flavor. Mm -hmm. I can't talk, but like, <laughs> if I could, I would say so many things right now. This is America's Best Restaurants. I'm Danielle DeTomo with the ABR Roadshow, and we are in Lake Villa, Illinois today at a place called Fairmont Shores, located on beautiful Fox Lake, and they are open year round, always hosting fun events. I'm excited to learn more. Let's go in. Rhonda, how are you? I'm well, how are you today? Doing great. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, we're very happy to be here today. Already love the spot because of the amazing lake view that you have. Beautiful sunsets. Yes, and see, I'm the type of person I always say, give me like a good water view and a cocktail and, and I'm happy. So I think I'm at the right spot. You're definitely at the right spot. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it. This seems like just such a cool spot for people to come and enjoy food and all the good stuff. So the restaurant literally is right in the middle of a neighborhood. So mm -hmm. there's a house here in a house here so when you drive from the main stream you're gonna drive into a neighborhood and you're gonna think that you're lost where you're really not lost you come in and here you are we have one of the best sunsets on the chain we have some of the greatest food great cocktails and some of the greatest staff ever um, this right here yeah speaking of I made this for you oh it's yeah. a specialty martini that I made up it's a pineapple upside down cake martini I'll wait for your Reaction. You you know what? You you know me already because this is right up my alley right here. Okay. Pineapple now. Yep. Good. Oh my gosh. Yep. Thank I'm you. at the right spot today. Thank you. I will tell you that right now. Thanks for greeting me. Absolutely. I mean, by the way this drink is, I know this food is about to be good too. So Cheers to everyone watching, and I'm gonna head back into the kitchen. Okay. Made our way back in the kitchen now. We got Sonny and Mike joining us, and they are gonna be making us all the delicious food today. Yes. But we're doing the first dish, okay? What are we making first? We're making bruschetta. Yes, we are. Okay, talk me through it. Whoever, okay. whoever wants to explain what's okay. happening. You toast it, you put it in a grill, mm -hmm. toast it, put it in the water. Okay. Then, turn it over. So, I'm gonna ask both of you this. You know, gotta get yes. to learn more about you both back here. Ooh, we got some fresh mozzarella, I okay, see. Yes. Talk to me a little bit about both of you, how you got your start in the kitchen. Sonny, if you wanna kinda go first. Well, I started here a long time ago, but close to 30 years ago. No way. Yes. So you've been in this kitchen for, you almost said about? 30 years, almost. Oh my gosh. And yes. what about you, Mike? Um, this is actually my first restaurant job. No way. I've been working here since I was like 20. I've okay. been here like eight, nine years now, coming up on nine years. So what brought you to the to the restaurant the business? Restaurant, um, well, I always liked cooking. Mm -hmm. I'd, when I was little, I'd be in the kitchen with like my grandma and my mom, yeah. or grilling with my dad, out, you know, holidays, 4th of July and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, here specifically, my sister worked here before me and okay. they needed help in the kitchen. I was like, sure, mm -hmm. I'll give it a shot. And I've been here ever since. Right, and then you're like, yep, this is for me. Okay, what, I know, I'm like, I'm seeing more things added yes. now. Okay, so what else do we have for this bruschetta? Well, we got the bruschetta the tomatoes mm -hmm. and garlic, salt. Mm -hmm. Of course, the vinaigrette. Yeah, vinaigrette, yes. Okay, and is it? Balsamic vinaigrette. Balsamic. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Is it ready? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, I mean, there's there's plenty. There's it's if y'all want some, I, I, I'll let you, you know, or I'm, I may I may eat it all. <laughs> you know, you never oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> but ooh, I'm excited. This looks like a like a nice a nice piece here. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let me ooh, let me do this. I'm telling you what. That That's good, right? is flavorful. Mm, that fresh mozzarella, everything on this, is just, it's just good, it's just a burst right. of flavor. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, this is probably gonna be gone. <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I know there's much more in store for us right. food wise. We're getting some favorites today. Thank you both no so problem. much for making us all the lovely food and I'm excited to try more. Thank you for enjoying it. Of course, let's go and now we're gonna sit down with the owner. We are joined with Patty now. She is one of the owners here at this awesome spot. So Patty just got out of the kitchen. We have more food. So let's start with the food first because okay. I wanna tell people what we're displaying right here. Okay. So this is our Cajun pork chops. Okay. Amazing. People come all over for the Cajun pork chops. This is the seasoning um, that works so good and the green beans. And then we have the meatloaf. Mm -hmm. And the meatloaf is a meatloaf stack. And again, people come all over for it. Oh, so yeah. you gotta try it. I it's was like gonna a, say, we got a lot a going layer, on in this dish. Yeah. We got a layer of bread. Okay. A layer of meatloaf, mashed potatoes, another layer of meatloaf. This is like a. And another mashed potatoes with peas and gravy. It's phenomenal. This is a tower over yeah, here. It is. This is a tower. Yep. I'm just they gonna... call it the meatloaf tower. Meatloaf tower. There you go. Yep, okay. and it's so good. Yeah. Is this like a favorite here? It is. Yeah. It's the doesn't most popular it, thing people come all over for. Doesn't it doesn't even yeah. say that on the menu. It like does. favorite. It literally says meatloaf <laughs> favorite. Oh Fan yeah. Fan favorite, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then we have our wings. People come all over for our wings. And we have um, barbecue. This is hot sauce, mild, and nuclear. Okay. If you want to do nuclear, you can do nuclear, but that's really hot. I will okay, tell me the sauces again, like which one's which. Sure. We have mild, hot. Barbecue and nuclear. Okay, I, I do like hot wings. Yeah, so. and these are hot. Okay, so these are hot? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm a big wing, and we got a um, wing person. Okay, yep, we've got ranch and uh, blue cheese. I gotta taste this, and then we got some fun stuff to talk about with you, Patty, but okay. I, I had to start with the wing first. Okay. okay. It's, been, it's been looking real, real, real good. Uh huh. Okay, if I lived here, I'd be getting this like daily. Like <sighs> on Thursdays, we do half off wings, and we are packed oh, in here. That sauce. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, I'm a big look at my, my lipstick all over the napkin here. <laughs> I'm a big wing girl. That's where it's at. Thank you. Oh yep. my goodness. Okay. Our chef's been here over 25 years. Mm. He's been making the same wings. When we bought it three years ago, mm -hmm. they said do not change the wings, and do not change the pork chop, and do not change the meatloaf. So never will we change it. It's yeah. been here forever. The food, you got it going on with the food. Thank so you. You got that going on. Yep. Delicious. You're welcome. Thank you. You know, but also, you're doing a lot of cool things with this spot. You just celebrated three years of owning three it. Three years, yes. Wow, so congrats to you on that. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Talk to me about some of the fun things that you're hosting here, because there's a lot. Yeah, we do a lot of things. Um, in the summer, we have um, two different bars. Downstairs, there's a level down there with Ooh. sand, and people love going down there and enjoying that. Um, we have brunch every Sunday, mm. and it's amazing brunch. Um, in the winter, we do um, brunch with Santa. In the fall, we do several things. We do a sip and shop with a charcuterie board, and you get to taste four different wines and a full charcuterie board, and you can eat as much as you want. It is a great space, and yeah, I mean, you can't spot. beat the view. I mean, right. that's just, that's a huge part of it. Right. The lake view, I mean, that's where it's at, right, right. there. Right, we have the best sunset. Now, oh, yes. But, um, yeah, so it's just uh, it's a friendly place. Yeah, and it everybody seems, gets along. Yeah, it seems like a great community. Right. I mean, yeah, like you mentioned, you know, your staff, your customers, everyone just seems really great. Yeah. And as far as you, taking over ownership three years ago at this spot. What, right. So have restaurants been in your past or is this like brand new? For no, you? it's not brand new. Okay. I've been in the restaurant business my whole life. Okay. And Vince and I, uh, my husband Vince and I, I'm sorry he can't be here today, but he, um, we had a traumatic thing happen oh, no. back in 2013. Mm -hmm. And um, we decided then after we got past that, that it's time to, uh, Make your dreams come true. Yeah. Right? So we've saved all our money and invested. And we invested during the pandemic, which mm -hmm. was a really hard time to invest. Um, mm -hmm. But it's worked out. But I think it's because of the people that we have here and um, the community. Mm -hmm. 
and the food that we have. My chef's been here 25 years, mm -hmm. and he's got um, his helper, Mike, who's been here forever too. He's young, just helping right along, and it's great. And with you having, you know, the restaurant background, when you took over the spot, was the menu hard for you to make, or did you have, like, the, the chef back there? Did he have a lot of ideas? Did you and your husband have ideas? How did that all come together? We made a few changes, but basically okay. we've been, um, Fairmont Shores is a staple for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Even people that come from out of town, they come here and enjoy the view, the sunset, the people, and the food. And um, Sonny does a wonderful job, him and Michael, about making the food how they do. And we didn't make a lot of changes. There's a few changes I brought from other restaurants that I've been at. Mm -hmm. um, but I've kept a lot of it the same and just kind of tweaked a few things here and there and it's it's working out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's delicious. And, right. You know, before we do wrap it all up, I mean, we still got, I do have like one more dish that I'm kind of like, <laughs> mm, yeah, the other stuff's been really good. So, I mean. Pork chops, yeah, you gotta I'll try just, it. I'll just take a bite. There's to-go boxes. All right, you're my dear. But, right, okay. let me, let me get that. Fantastic. Another winner. I'm just you have to try the, you have to try the Cajun potatoes. Okay. I'm just stuff my face here. Don't, I mean. I told her I was hungry. <laughs> I can't talk, but like, if I could, I would say so many things right now. My mouth is full. So good. It's mm. the Cajun seasoning, I think that makes it. I love Cajun. Yep. Okay, delicious. If people want to keep up to date with what you have going on, What's the best way to follow, like, social media? What would you can you look opinion? at our website Probably. and Facebook and Instagram, FairmontShores.com, and um, check us out. All right. It's a wonderful place to be. It sure is. Patty, thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome spot. We're going to be eating a lot more of this, all right? Fairmont Shores, right here in Lake Villa, Illinois. Beautiful view they have here, some delicious food, and I'm telling y'all, when I come back to Illinois, I'm checking out one of their fun events that they host. They are truly one of America's best restaurants. For the ABR Roadshow, I'm Danielle Dutomo. See y'all next time.